Hey guys, welcome to Arab Instruments website. Um, we are very happy and very pleased that uh, there is so much engagement and so much uh, questions about Ne, Kawala and Arabic and Turkish styles and Makams and it really it's, it's, it's astounding. So um, uh, one of the questions we got is how to handle the Kawala and how to, I mean, how to use fingering, what fingering do we use and how to, 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 to control this instrument which looks small and harmless but actually is very hard to control. So um, we're taking up on this question and we're going to start right now explaining how to treat this instrument, the Kawala. Thanks. Alright, so first, first things first. Um, produce sound, well of course unless you haven't. It's very important to uh, produce the sound flu uh, uh, fluidly and uh, steadily and because the diameter is very big on Kawala and the holes are usually bigger then if you uh, change the pitch with your uh, mouth it happens really fast then you if you lower the first note and the second one you make up then it's gonna sound really off so the first thing you need to do is make the sound when everything is closed and take it up as much as you can and keep it steady and then when you lift one finger you will hear that it's only one tone difference this is the way it should be Now the third one is a comma down, it's a quarter tone, so this has to sound a bit off. Second one, back to uh, whole uh, notes, like it's not a quarter tone, it's a, a full one. And another tone. So this is the best basic thing with Kawala, you need to hear that it sounds reasonable and not uh, like, uh, whoa, what's the connection between the notes? So again And this is actually Rastmaka Starting from this one, Rastmaka, you know Ranili of uh, Um Kultum, you can play the, the, the tune So this is the beginning, the first note of Rast Second note, third note, fourth note, fifth note, if you go to the, to the fifth. There you go, Rast Makam on Kawa. Alright, now we're gonna uh, treat Bayat Makam or Husseini also or a lot of Makams that start from the second degree by the way don't forget Kawala does not have a back hole so don't look for it uh -huh, you yeah um, the, the reason is well there's no I don't know the reason but it's different from Ne which has the back hole that uh, uh, we use to go through registers and through octaves here it's just it's basically two octaves and you can go higher, but if you're only very experienced. So let's get back to the subject. Bayat Makam starts the karar, the, the, the tonica, is this position. So, second note is a quarter tone. Third note. Fourth note. Alright? So again, try to be as focused as you can, as, as um, tuned as you can for the connection between the notes. Now, I do not talk about the rest of the, the notes because we, we can put um, makams or chechnies or tastes one on top of the other. But uh, uh, Bayat Makam has a certain feel to it that let's say Husseini, which has the same notes, does not have. So uh, we will go like this. Yeah. 
this note, which is a, a half hope, is very um, uh, connected to Bayat Makam. And if I open the, the whole finger, it will not stay on Bayat Makam, but listen to the difference. So, half hole. This was Bayat Makam. The third Makam I'm going to talk about on the Kawala is Hijaz. Now, by the way, later we're going to show the fingering really from close for all three Makams. Um, so, Hijaz Makam. Traditionally, it starts like on the name from the second degree. Of course, we can start it from other degrees as well of other positions as well, but I'm talking about the basic, basic way of making sound. So, this will be the first degree of Hijaz. This makam is a bit tricky. This is the second degree with the uh, quarter tone already into it. The third degree is a half hole here and the fourth degree. And it sounds like this. So this is a bit harder or more difficult and you need to, to use your ears very uh, keenly to see that, you, uh, that you, you're not off pitch. Okay, so this was the uh, beginning of Hijaz Makam. So we're going to the closing part now, which I will give like an exercise and we will show uh, the fingering for all Makams that we talked about right now. Alright, so again fingering for Rast Makam. Then go, second degree. It doesn't matter if you use half hole or full hole here. It's like more of an exercise, a technique exercise on the boundaries of Rastmaka. So again. Yeah, I moved up to the second register. So you saw this exercise I'm gonna uh, continue do on the other makams as well. So this was last makam. Now let's talk about Bayat makam. It's actually the same thing, but so different. I used like a fourth note interval here. Now Hijaz. Hijaz you need to do very slowly because it's very difficult. Now you heard that the pitch is going sideways sometimes because that's because I need to practice as well. What do you think? I'm not like a full expert on. Actually, we all need to, to practice every day. So this was the basic thing about Kawala. Actually, it's not that basic. You'll see that it's very hard. And, um, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Guys, thanks for watching. Um, like you saw, uh, we have a variety of Nays and Kawalas made for you from plastic and um, they're tuned and I made them myself and I'm very proud of them. Um, you can get them all here with the rest of the reeds that we have in our instruments. Um, 
Another thing is, if you have any questions, please write it down and, and address us. And uh, if you have ideas for songs and for tunes you want to you learn or you want to see how to do, uh, please write it down. We're, we're going to address it. And um, again, don't forget to subscribe because we're going to have more tutorials and more information for you coming up in the future. See you soon.